Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing the NES, SNES, whatever you want to call it, Classic Killer and Cody all-in-one device. Before I get started, I have to mention that this is not my original idea. I actually followed a video by Snazzy Labs and added my own flavor to it. I will leave a link in the description on how you can make one yourself. And also I'll have another link to my website where I will describe the parts that I use, such as a blank NES cartridge from Amazon, which is actually pretty cool because it has Phillips screws instead of the proprietary Nintendo ones. So that's a plus. I was also able to design this graphic that you see here using Photoshop. So that just made everything a lot cooler in my opinion. Anyways, this whole thing came about after seeing that the NES Classic sold out everywhere. And instead of paying a ridiculous amount of money for it, I decided why not make something better? So this is basically running RetroPie, which is very easy to configure. Most of the emulators come pre-built. All you have to do is load the ROMs and that's it. You can play almost any game from Zelda, Super Mario Bros, Mortal Kombat, and many more as long as the hardware supports it. That's another thing. I decided to go with the newest Raspberry Pi Zero W, which has built-in Wi-Fi. On top of an already awesome setup, I installed Kodi. And since the Raspberry Pi Zero W has built-in Wi-Fi, I am able to take advantage of YouTube or any other add-ons that I may want. I even went ahead and copied a movie over to the micro SD card and played it back without any problems. So this is pretty cool. Just load your movies and take them with you anywhere you go. Overall, with this setup, you get an awesome device that is able to emulate more than 50 systems along with having Cody to play back all of your media. The form factor is actually similar to the Fire TV. It does weigh less so that's pretty cool and you can pretty much easily take it anywhere you go. As a bonus if you watch my portable movie theater project video you can indeed hook this up to a power bank, a mini projector, and now you have a portable gaming setup wherever you go without the need of electricity. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you decide to make one yourself, take some pictures, send them to me on my social media, which I'll link in the description. Let me know what you would change about this or how you would make it better. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.